Oh yeah. Oh my god, I forgot the keys. <laughs> Oh my god, Roth. We will wait till he's not driving. I didn't bring it up. So. Oh. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hey, babies. So, gotta do the cooking by the book. Oh my god, I forgot them likes the Rickos. Or else I'm gonna finish that. We're on our way to the grocery store right now because. Well, so, okay. We're in Arizona at my grandma Barb's house, as most of you know who Barb is. Um, and we were gonna go just out to dinner tonight. Why is this gate not opening? We were gonna go out to dinner just at like this place called V's Tap Room, whatever, like near us. It's for you. Because Barb was like, I'm not in the mood to cook. Hello. <laughs> and Hunter had the marvelous idea. I was like, I like cooking, and their kitchen is perfect. Hunter was like, I want to cook in this kitchen, and I want to make gnocchi. So we're making homemade gnocchi tonight, and we're gonna surprise Barb. Instead of going out, we're gonna make we're gonna make gnocchi. Gnocchi's. If you guys don't know what gnocchi are, it's like a, a potato noodle. It's not even a noodle, but it's just it's literally just like flour, eggs, and potatoes. Like and I didn't know what like it fluffies. was. Yeah, I didn't and know then, what it was yeah. either. And, and then you put a pasta sauce me. on them, and it's really good. It's so good. Some people call it gnocchi, and if you do, I'm just don't fucking talk to me. <gasps> Oh, I thought it was a Trump flag. So yeah, we're gonna make gnocchi. <laughs> I can't. We're gonna make gnocchi tonight with Texas toast and Brussels sprouts, a side salad. We're gonna see. Making homemade, like I make it the way my grandma taught me how to make it, because she's Italian. I'm not, but we'll try our best. But it just takes so long. She's really big into like, you know, doing things and letting it cool and rise. She's a very patient Italian cook, because she likes it to be perfecto. And I I just don't have, I don't I don't care. But every time we've made it, well. It's because we take our time and it comes out really, really good. But we always make so much yeah, of it. Does the it person's not going, okay. But um. Four it's, way stops. It's gonna be good. I you can just eat so much of it. When we made it, I made mean, I, I, I had fuck. I ate so much of it last time we made it. Like literally three plates full, I think. We should be stereotypical Italians later. Mozzarella! Italians everywhere are like, shut fuck up. So yeah, alright, well, we're going to the grocery store now, so bye. We got all our groceries, which means it's now time to get the cooking. I'm sorry, okay. We're gonna start out cracking some eggs in this lovely bowl here. A lot of eggs, as you can see. We currently have five, we're gonna go with five. We're gonna move forward to our giant pot that we have here, and we're gonna fill it up with H2O. Uh, it takes very long to fill up, very large pot. We have a lot of bowls and cutting boards here, as you can see, because it takes a lot of steps to make this dish. We're gonna put our pot full of water on the stove. We got another bowl over there and all our sexy ingredients right there. Hunter's starting off by salting the pot of water as you should. Drizzling that oil in there, yes. Here I am with the sack of potatoes and we're gonna dump every single tater in that sack in that strainer bowl. Every single potato, every single one. And we're gonna move our bowl of potatoes over to the sink and we are going to wash them because we're not gonna eat any dirty <laughs> potatoes we want our potatoes to be clean we're gonna use our lovely shower setting on the sink it's so much better than the regular sink setting and we're gonna just shower those potatoes off we're gonna move back all of our freshly clean potatoes back to the strainer even though it was actually just in the strainer i don't know how it got in the white bowl but we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna ignore that disgusting potato water in the white bowl as well now that the potatoes are so fresh and so clean we're gonna start peeling the potato peeling the potatoes took quite a while so i'm going to insert an informational lesson on potatoes Potatoes. So you thought that we just start and finish with the white potato. This is just one kind of menu. Wait till I take you through all the potatoes. We've got the white. We've got the red potatoes. These are all great for boiling and mashing and roasting. But I'm going to show you a few different things here. Have you ever seen this? This is called a purple potato. You actually cook it the same way. It's very mild in flavor. But honestly, I would use it just as a beautiful garnisher if you're entertaining. How about the baking potato? Now this we all know, we wrap it up in foil, put it on the barbecue, whatever you want. But what I like to do is bake this up in an oven or microwave, cut it in half, take out the pulp, mix it up with some sour cream. You can mix it up with some cheddar cheese, make a Tex-Mex out of it, have an entire meal. And now the beautiful, creamy Yukon Gold. This is my favorite potato. It tastes like butter. You don't need butter in it. So I make my mashed potatoes out of this, add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of sour cream, 
This is just so creamy and delicious, you'll understand why you love it. And the most nutritious of all has to be the sweet potato. Bright orange flesh, lots of antioxidants. But instead of just mashing this or boiling it, you can make the best sweet potato fries, which are so trendy today. No frying. Cut it up into eight, brush it with a little olive oil, maple syrup, and cinnamon. Bake it for 20 minutes. Just fantastic. Literally take a shot every time a potato is dropped. P -p -p peel the potatoes. 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 My last potato literally fell into the garbage disposal. So the garbage down. Yeah. We finally finished peeling our taters. Now it's time to clean up all of our potato scraps out of the sink. We're not going to make potato crisps. Put all of them in our little grocery bag and toss them right in the trash. Now we have our little bowl of sexy, freshly peeled potatoes. After cleaning and peeling all of those potatoes, it is now time to cut and dice them so we can boil them. So much work goes into these potatoes, but they are our main dish and we have to take care of them like our cute little children. So let's cut the potatoes, cut the potatoes, cut the potatoes and dice the potatoes. Cut the potatoes, cut the potatoes, cut the potatoes and dice the potatoes. Cut the potatoes, cut the potatoes, cut the potatoes and dice the potatoes. And plop. We have finished cutting the potatoes. Even after all of that time, our water is still not boiled yet. So we're gonna move back to our eggs and we're gonna we're gonna whisk those eggs up. Is that the correct term? I don't know. We're gonna do something with these eggs. We're gonna twirl them up around and make sure that they are all mixed and well. Then we're gonna move on to our sauce. Oh, would you look at that? Look how sexy that looks. That's kinda sexy. We're gonna add some water to our sauce. Oh, so man, need water. Stir that around with a whisk, but the whisk isn't really working out. I don't really like that sound, so we're gonna move to a nice spatula. We're gonna check our water, and look at that. It is steaming, so it's time to put our taters in the pot to boil. But we do have to be careful while putting these taters into the water because, as I said, the water is now boiling. It is hot as fuck. It is hot as shit. So we don't want it to splash on ourselves because we would probably get second degree burn. So we have to slowly grab these potatoes to put them in the pot. Whoops, just trying not to splash. And would you look at that, we're done already. Now Hunter is seasoning the sauce because we can't have bland sauce. We need our herbs, our spices, our seasonings. Oh, and look how aesthetically pleasing it is when you mix that sauce together. I'm just gonna fold it in. Next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? What does fold in the cheese mean? He folds it in. <laughs> now we're gonna go to the lemons and we're gonna start rolling them up like Shireen tells us to. Well, the lemon peel. While I do that, Hunter's over there adding more seasonings to the sauce. After rolling the lemons, I'm going to cut it, but this knife doesn't seem to be working out. It looks like I'm struggling a bit. <laughs> that knife is literally useless. I'm gonna grab a new knife. And would you look at that? It cuts right through the lemon flawlessly. Yeah! Gonna cut these into little wedges. Some of them are gonna be used to be put in the sauce, and some are gonna be used for our fancy water glasses later. Oh, the smell of lemon is so sexy. I'm gonna go this side, do you want me to cut one more like this? That's fine. Bigger the better. Well. While I cut these lemon wedges, Hunter's going to be making this giant loaf of garlic bread. But first we're gonna eat some, because bread is good, and there's so much of it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now the lighting is really good. <laughs> Smell the lemon again. It's just too good. Roll the lemon. Roll the lemon. Cut the lemon, got a little routine going on. Slice that last lemon up and give it a big fat whiff. <laughs> oh, we are now done with that. It's really hot. <laughs> and there goes Hunter stirring the potatoes. 
Looks like your arm is cooking. Oh, would you look at those sexy split lemons. Now it's time to focus on the bread and the butter. We're gonna put a slice of butter between every single slice of bread. We want our garlic bread to be moist, flavorful, and juicy. Wow, the lighting. I'm James Charles. Can you shut that shade? Please store the potatoes. Make sure you use that towel at the top of the super hot. Ooh, this is a family recipe. Yeah, my grandma taught me how to make it. Her grandma came from Italy, and then she taught her, and then taught me. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure she would approve of the way I do it, but the outcome's pretty similar, it's good. And there we have it, there's a slice of butter in between every single piece of bread. I'm gonna go ahead and check on that pot with a towel because it is very hot. Look at that steam flying in the air. Stir those potatoes, gotta keep stirring them, gotta treat them like our angels because if we don't, then the gnocchis will turn out like shit. As I'm doing that, Hunter's adding cheese and seasonings to this lovely cheese bread. And now that the cheese Cheese bread's finished, we're gonna wrap it up in tin foil and put it aside until we put it in the oven later. And back over at the pot, the potatoes are done being boiled, so we're gonna dig them out of that pot and put them back into the strainer. We're just, we're just playing telephone here, going back and forth, back and forth. I'm very focused on getting every single potato back in that strainer where it belongs. We don't want any mishaps. I don't wanna burn myself. I don't wanna drop any potatoes. That is my main goal. And I drop a fucking potato. Jesus Christ. Scooping out the taters. Scooping out the taters. And as time goes on, it gets harder and harder to scoop these potatoes because there's less and less in there. <laughs> like right there, I literally scooped and not one potato came on the on the scooper. All the potatoes are now in the bowl, and as you can see, it is steaming marvelously. Very hot. Now we're gonna mash those potatoes. We're gonna mash, 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 mash them until they are in mashed form, because we need them to be in mashed form to get them ready for cooling to make the dough. We need to transform ourselves into Hulk, whoever you need to imagine yourself, to mash, mash, mash these potatoes. It's time to add our lemons to the sauce, and as you can see, Shireen was right. I rolled them like Shireen told me to. Well, the lemon. Good. Claire from, what's it called, Bon Appetit. She said to always juice your lemons face up so the seeds don't fall in. And she's so smart. That's probably why she works at Bon Appetit. Isn't she racist? Didn't something happen? I have no idea who Claire from Bon Appetit is. I just know that Shireen tells me to roll my lemon before juicing it because it spreads out the juice. I agree. Juicy. Do you see all the juices flowing out of that lemon? Our potatoes are in the fridge. They're cooling. Cooling. Because when you mix the potatoes with the flour and eggs, they're hot. They start to cook the eggs, and then you have scrambled eggs in your gnocchis, and that's not what that's meant for. And that sounds disgusting to me. <laughs> Bread is chilling in the avuno. Barb gets back at like 6, which it's 4.30 right now. Dan usually calls Barb like at least five times on her way home, so I think we'll be very aware of when she arrives. I dropped the seat in. Something's gonna choke. I guess we didn't really need all these, but I was not paying attention when you cut it. <laughs> oh. You just gotta fold them in. You just, here's what you do. You just fold it in. Okay, I don't know how to fold broken cheese like that. And I don't know how to be any clearer. You take that thing that's in your hand, uh -huh. and you- If you say fold in one more time. It says fold it in. Just kidding. I think that was a seed. Yep. You just saved a life. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Yeah. I'm just so excited. <laughs> but yeah, that tastes really good. I don't think it's too lemony at all. Yeah. While our potatoes cool, we're gonna um, set the table all fancy like. I don't know what plates to use. Everything set up. Salad's going there. Garlic bread's going there. Brussels sprouts going there. Nokis are going right there. Barb's wine is going in there. <laughs> we did all the dishes already. So like there's no mess. Sauce simmering. Nokis still cooling. I don't know what that's doing. Hunter peeing. Me just chilling out and waiting. 
Dan. He's hanging outside. And apparently Barb already knows, because Dan told her, so it's not going to be a surprise. But, like, it's fine. She was still I, excited. It's still going to be a surprise. Yeah. Because I feel like when you tell somebody, like, oh, I'm going to cook tonight, like, they don't expect this. Yeah. So. How are they looking? This is going to be good. They're still kind of warm, but, like, they'll cool once we put them on this counter. No scrambled eggs today. Thank fucking God. I can't wait for all the time. It's way too I mean, we're not in a restaurant. <laughs> they don't care. Now that our potatoes are done cooling, it is time for what I would say definitely the most challenging part of the whole entire process. We'll put the finished ones on here. We've now gotten to the advanced part. It's time to make <laughs> the dough. I really should have put flour under that before I did that. This is definitely flour, right? I think it's just more pancake mix. Got to drizzle that flour all over the counter. So just grab just like a handful like that. And then what? And then just make a little hole in it and grab some egg. And this is when it gets messy. How much egg? Just a little bit. And you have to get the perfect mixture of egg, flour, and mashed potatoes. And be generous with the flour. Be generous with it? Yeah. Honestly, we could probably just do like a whole bunch. Definitely take some patience. Definitely take some time. Fancy. <laughs> Barb, I'm really sorry about your kitchen counter. <laughs> the cleans easy though. I probably should have took my ring off. Oops, we want to keep adding flour until it's like more white. Yeah. And less, once to, it needs to feel doughy. That's the worst part. <laughs> I know. Instead of Cardi B saying macaroni in a pot, <laughs> she <laughs> could say egg. <laughs> Where are you going with this? It sounds like the macaroni in a pot at the beginning. into noodles. Mm -hmm. The apron's falling off. What if we just made one giant gnocchi? No. Look at this. This is the consistency that we love. My gnocchi is not doing that. <laughs> You don't want it to be sticky, like how you see it on my hands right there, and how it's sticking to my hands. You don't, you don't want that. Hey guys, just put that in the pot. <laughs> just put it on Barb's plate. So you do make your own noodles? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so they're potato but it's, noodles. It's out of potatoes. Actually, we could use your hand. Could you pour some flour into this bowl? Uh huh. From that. How much? Uh, just like a good shake in there. We figured out that it was just the way that I was handling the dough. Apparently, it wasn't forceful enough. I don't know. It's still not like. I think you're probably close. You gotta roll it really fast. Like, roll it up and down on the counter. And then pick it up and throw it down, and just like keep rolling it. Like, roll it far. But then it spreads. <laughs> Hunter had to help me out because he finished his ball of dough like 30 minutes before me. I think I'm just doing it wrong. I think you just need to roll it back. Here, let me just finish. Yeah, you were just doing it wrong. I'm just more rough enough there. I know, I'm just not a rough person. <laughs> 
And now we put that back in the bowl and let it sit out to rise. Now we wait. We cut the lemons in half again to put them on our fancy waters. Our gnocchis are cooling yet again. Our, no, they're rising. they're rising. I thought you put them in the fridge, but they're actually right there. <laughs> Box City Fridge. Possibly. Now that our dough has sat out for a bit, it is time to make the actual gnocchis. We've finally gotten here. Hunter is going to get the dough and roll it into these little potato worms. And once he's done rolling his little potato worm, he's going to roll it over to where I am. And I'm going to use my handy dandy knife and cut that potato worm into little cubes, which then becomes gnocchis. There's going to be so many. Mm. Honestly, not mad about that. Yeah, Ty's got the fluffy one on. Oh, Ty's got the maker. Oh yeah, it's set up. Got a nice table set. Yeah, I think you've got filming going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. It ends up taking a while because we have so much dough that it's insane. The amount of potato worms that Hunter is delivering on my end is bizarre. We end up filling about three trays full of gnocchis. Third tray. Bread is now in the oven. Oh my god, I didn't get the third tray. Now that we're done with the hard part, it's time for our side dishes. First, I'm gonna make a little Caesar salad and dunk that salad into the bowl, dunk those croutons, dunk that cheese, dunk that Caesar dressing. Get every single drop of that Caesar dressing in there. This isn't hard at all because the salad actually does come in a pre-made pack. <laughs> All you have to do is put it together, really. And as I finish this out, let's go back to Hunter, who is now transferring all the gnocchis back into that potato wok to cook. I'm not over the sauce. It smells so good. And while he's doing that, I'm going back to another side dish. We're making Brussels sprouts. Very easy as well, except apparently it's not very easy for me to open them. I had to get scissors. I can't open anything. All you gotta do is dump those frozen Brussels sprouts in that bowl. As I'm dumping those Brussels sprouts in that bowl, Hunter is transferring the cooked gnocchis gnocchis into our beloved pasta sauce. Now with the Brussels sprouts, what you want to do is you want to put shredded cheese over them. I put two different kinds. I put mozzarella and cheddar, put some salt, put some pepper, and all you have to do is put that baby in the microwave, and it's delicious. I didn't know that I could like Brussels sprouts that much. The gnocchis are getting closer and closer to being done as they float to the top of the pot, and Hunter puts them in the sauce to simmer. Hunter had the pumpkin pie idea. Yeah, 
And it has like a fancy thing on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, they float more down there. Right? Yeah. And would you look at that? <laughs> that so much. I know. We can eat it at 2 in the morning. Noki's are now finished. Our final position on our dining table. It's all ready to go. Oh, don't you just want to shove that in your mouth? I definitely do. Ooh, ooh, look at how pretty the bread is. They're not going to change. Now I don't want wine. After six hours of cooking, finally done. Who else is having wine? I'm good. I'm gonna put Arnold Palmer in mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm tasting the Noki. Our full course dinner ended up being a success. Barb and Dan loved the Nokis, and there was so much food that we were all literally going to explode. We didn't even eat the pumpkin pie until 11 p.m. because everyone was so full. The next day, Dan ate the leftover Nokis for lunch, and after a long day of cooking, Hunter and I accomplished what we went out to do. Make an amazing, ginormous full course meal for my grandparents instead of eating out. And that we did, and I'm very proud of us. So with all that being said, this is the end of the video. Mwah.